Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here. Welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is a specific how-to video on how to set up a brand new Alphapex DG1-11G, which stands for 11 Giga Hash. And this is advertised to take around 34 to 3500 watts. I will show the exact power as we go along on setting this ASIC miner up. So thank you to Crypto Miner Bros. If you guys are interested, link down below. Use coupon code REDPANDA for $50 off. Okay, so let's begin. So if you bought and received a Alphapex DG1, it's gonna ship in a box just like this there's the dimensions there and also inside here it will come packaged in a plastic bag as well as two very thick foam pieces here to protect the ASIC miner uh, in shipping so very nice packaging here from Alpha Packs and it also comes with a user manual here which is very simple it's actually on their website you can scan the qr code here to see the manual if you guys want right on the screen here so next steps i guess once you have taken out the alpha pex dg1 the biggest factor of once you're mining with one of these things which is a big boy asic which is going to require a lot of power okay so you got to be mindful actually before you even buy one of these or any other big boy asic miner out there you're going to need the power infrastructure to run one of these so let me explain here real quick so if you're in north america like i am a typical power plug in north america is one of these 5 15 110 volt this type of outlet will not be enough to power a 3000 plus watt asic miner because 120 volt power will only go up to around safely 1400 to 1500 watts okay so you're gonna need a 240 volt 30 amp circuit run in your house if you're going to run this at home or anywhere this is very important because you're you need the capacity and the voltage to run this asic miner which runs on 200 to 240 volt voltage okay and the amperage the circuit needed in your house you're gonna to have to contact a certified electrician to run a 30 amp 240 volt circuit in your house and also make sure you have the capacity in your circuit panel so this is an l630r receptacle and then i have a 240 volt 30 amp pdu here which plugs in like so okay so this pdu for anyone that is interested in looking to buy one you can simply go to altertech dot io and you'll see a very typical 30 amp 240 volt pdu just like this on their website use code rpm for one percent off if you are interested and then once you have this installed also you got to be mindful of where you're going to be installing the outlet somewhere where you can extract the heat because this is going to push out a lot of heat so here's a great example of where i have my mining shelf here a metal shelf with a bunch of my asic miners a few 240 volt 30 amp PDUs here. I got a network switch as well. You gotta be mindful. All of the ASICs like this are gonna need ethernet, hardwire connectivity, okay? So this is where I have my ASICs. I have my exhaust fan, just like this, going out the window. All the heat is going out this way. You can see the general temperature where it's being extracted here. And I have my 30 amp 240 volt circuits here and it goes all the way to my circuit panel with 10 gauge wiring going into 240 volt 30 amp breakers like this okay so this is a circuit so your electrician you'll have to hire a certified electrician to run this in your house okay so that is a pretty big disclaimer uh, if you want to get into ASIC mining such as this with an Alpha Pex DG1, you have to be mindful. You got to make sure you have the infrastructure set up to run one of these. Okay, so next step, you're going to also need to purchase the C13 to C14 power cables as uh, they do not come with the Alpha Pex DG1. So a great place I like to buy mine is infinitecables.com. They have these C13 to C14, 14 gauge thick, very nice c13 to c14 power cables okay so now once you have all of that and of course you got your network and such i have a network switch here so we're going to plug in the network first very simple we're going to get this all set up i'm going to show you guys exactly how to get it mining with you know with the wallet and which pool all that kind of stuff okay so let's now plug in the dg1 power so what i like to do first is 
make sure I plug in this side of the power first in the ASIC miner before plugging in the PDU. So just like this. Okay, so you're gonna plug that in. Okay, now we're gonna plug it into the 240 volt 30 amp PDU, which can go up to about 80% rule, which is gonna be about 57, 5800 watts. Okay, so there we go. Now, it's gonna start turning on, and now we're gonna need to get the IP address of the DG1. So, I'll see you guys in a computer. You're gonna need to use either a laptop or just a desktop, which is gonna be on the same network as this ASIC miner so you can configure the pool settings, okay? So, I'll see you in the computer. Okay, so I'm on a Windows computer. Uh, you might have only a Mac, then, you may need to find another way to get the IP address, like log into your router. Uh, but if you're in Windows as well, you can also log into your own router to grab the IP address. It should have a host name of DG1. Okay, but I'm using a free software called Advanced IP Scanner. It's a free download and you can install it on any Windows computer to scan your network. So I'm scanned mine and the IP address of this DG1 that I just plugged in is 10.100.100.225. So I'm gonna copy that IP address. We're gonna go to a web browser like Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, uh, of course, prefer Google Chrome. You're gonna type in that IP address in the browser, okay, 10.100.100.225. It's gonna be different for you. It's probably gonna be a 192.168, etc. etc. Uh, so put that in, then you're gonna be presented the login screen for the DG1, which the username is gonna be root, the password's gonna be root. Sign in, okay, and you're gonna be presented the web GUI of the DG1, all right? It's very nice, I actually like this web GUI. So the next step is you wanna set up the minor tab here. You're gonna go in the minor tab and you're gonna wanna set up the pool settings for whichever mining pool you wanna to mine to, okay? there are many different mining pools. And I'm gonna have to say, I did just test this with a, a few other pools. It's not quite compatible yet on like NiceHash or maybe LitecoinPool.org or maybe a few others. But in that case, you'll wanna make sure uh, to keep up with the firmware updates on alphapex.com. Okay, they do have a support page here. If you go to technical support, download, go to download center, they might have a new firmware to make it compatible to say mining with nice hash let's say okay so just be aware of this in case you want to you know have a firmware update you go to update tab here and you can import the firmware file here to update the dg1 down the road all right but anyways let's set up the miner so like i said there are many different mining pools for mining litecoin and another thing that I guess before you start mining is you want to consider having a cold storage wallet for your crypto. All right, this is going to go hand in hand, the fundamentals of self custody. And you know, you want to get something like a Tangem wallet. Highly recommend Tangem. Very, very cheap to buy. You know, use code RPM to get another 10% off here. Okay, so if, in case you're interested, you don't have to. 10% off, you'll get buy three cards, $63, and you can have self-custody of your own crypto, your private keys for, let's say, Litecoin or the Dogecoin that you are going to mine, all right? So highly recommend getting one of these for having your own uh, self-custody. But let's, for example, let's try to mine to, you know, via BTC. I do like via BTC. So you're gonna sign up for an account, you gotta sign in with your email, do all that stuff, make sure you sign in, okay? Next step is then you're gonna want to now get the mining pool of via BTC in order to mine to via BTC. So we're gonna scroll down here. You're gonna go to pool tab at the top. You're gonna select LTC, okay? All right, via BTC supports a lot of different algorithms as well, but in this case, the DG1 is only able to mine Litecoin, merge mine Dogecoin. Gonna scroll down. You're gonna see the stratum URL. Okay, there's the one right here. We're gonna copy it. There's a button here, or you can simply just highlight this string. Go back to the Alphapex DG1, the miner tab here. You're gonna paste that in, into the mining address, okay? Now, there are two backup pools as well. You're gonna to wanna to copy those. 
It's port 25 and 443. So go back to Alphapex web GUI here and you're gonna paste in the same IP here, uh, the address, put 25 though, edit this colon 25. And then as well, colon 443 as the backup mining pools. It's actually very important. Now, your username portion is where you signed up the username for your via BTC account. So for mine, it's gonna be RPM 2023. So I simply put in RP RPM 2023 and then you're gonna do a period and then whatever the name you wanna put for this DG1. I just put DG1. So you can see it distinguishes the worker name and also your account name for via BTC. So this is where all the Litecoin and Merge Mine Dogecoin is gonna to go to on your account, okay? Then username, password, X, 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 and then you're gonna hit save, and that's it. It's gonna take a couple minutes. Uh, you may need to reboot the miner um, just so it's after you save the settings. It's best practice to do that, and then after about a good couple minutes, it should start mining to your specified mining pool, like via BTC. And you can see here, I go to my workers tab, it's already showing up here under DG1, okay? So that's really awesome. You can see your earnings here. You can go to assets as well. And this is where you can see where your Litecoin and also your Dogecoin, which is mainly the most of the profits, is going to go, okay? And you can easily withdraw your Dogecoin or Litecoin. And uh, this is where you're gonna do a normal transfer uh, withdrawal address, which is gonna be your, from your Tangem wallet. You're gonna get the receiving address from the Tangem wallet, so you can be your own self-custody, have control over your own crypto. Because when you're mining it to, you know, something like via BTC, it's on their pool, it's on their, on their website. So you wanna make sure you withdraw it every now and then. Okay, so that's it. That's, that's how you set up the DG1 to mining Litecoin, Merge Mine Dogecoin, and uh, as well as hopefully you guys learned a bit for our having your own self-custody using a cold storage wallet like Tangem. Okay, so that's how you set up your brand new Alphapex DG1. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thank you to Crypto Miner Bros. Again, if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these, link down below, use offer code REDPANDA for $50 off for your Alphapex DG1 purchase. I appreciate everyone watching, and oh, I forgot to show the power consumption. There it is, 34.94. All right, so I'm using a little bit more power than advertised, but that's a given because my ambient temperature in my testing area, I don't have any exhaust here, so it'll probably use a little bit more power than normal. But make sure you guys make sure have a you know some way to exhaust the heat coming out of this thing when you're going to be running it at home. All right, I appreciate everyone watching. You guys have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.